Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about um, why I focus on casual gaming a little bit more than, you know, what you would expect from maybe a, a live streamer or, you know, a different type of gaming channel. I'm not saying that I'm, you know, right or wrong. I'm just saying, you know, most of the gaming channels, at least that I've come across, have been a little bit more focused on doing things the perfect way in video games, or doing things, um, you know, metas, not necessarily casual gaming. Now, I do make my Oblivion tutorials, and sometimes I give out tips, because, you know, this is my channel, and I want to do what I want, and I think Oblivion is a game that, it's the perfect mix of a hardcore meta-type game and casual. Right, you have the difficulty slider, depending on how you know well you want to play, but you also have the ability to make kind of loose metas, right? Even if you pick a skill in that game, in case you guys don't know how it works, explaining how Oblivion works, in case you know maybe you pick the sword skill and you want to use a mace instead, right? You can still use the mace. You don't have to permanently you know use the sword. Of course, you still have to use the sword to level up, but nothing stopping you from using the mace. So I think it's a really good example of one of the most perfect casual games in the world. But I focus on casual gaming for two reasons. Number one is that that is my kind of preferred way of playing games. Every once in a while I get a game that I, I really like to play and like get serious with. But for the most part I play games casually. The second part is because I saw that not a lot of people were talking about casual gaming and I decided that since, you know, yeah, I want to share gaming, I want to share how I think about it, but I want to share the casual part of it and it's a perfect match. So, you know, with playing casual games, I like it because I play a bunch of different games. You know, some people, some of, actually, some of my friends, every once in a while, they make fun of me because um, some of my videos, they don't, you know, I got a thousand subscribers, they get like 50 views, 10 views, 100 views, you know, not not a lot of views. But that's because I make different videos on different games. I wish actually I had a, a, a analytic to tell me, how, like, if I click on, you know, it would give me users on like, this user watched two videos, this user watched five. You know, that'd be a cool analytic just to see uh, how split or put together my audience is. But another thing about casual gaming is, you know, the typical casual gamer doesn't care about what games they play, right? So when you come onto my channel, you might notice that I, you know, I only focus on the games that I'm playing or that I want to play. You know, if you look at a channel like Nero Cinema, Nero Cinema plays, or he, he does a lot of just simply Call of Duty, Call of Duty news. But he only plays Call of Duty. And, you know, if I ran a channel like that, I'm not so invested in Call of Duty. So I would only play Call of Duty for those videos. I wouldn't play Call of Duty anywhere else. You know, maybe I pop in around a zombies or go down memory lane for a couple hours with a friend every once in a while. But that's about it, right? So I, I, I make videos. If you guys, if I ever appeared online, someone could actually record me throughout the day. I only make videos on games that I want to play, right? Which is why, if you guys noticed, I made a crap ton of World War II videos, and then I actually made a video saying I'm done with this game. And went away. They're gone. I haven't touched the first DLC, and the second one is almost out for Xbox. That's how done I am with the game. But Battlefield 1, right, I made a couple videos on it, and I, had, I did a binge on it, and then I'm done binging. And then I do PUBG. And Fortnite, you know, I got back into Fortnite a little bit, so I made one Fortnite video. It's kind of an interesting thing. And I wish, you know, almost, I feel like if I revamped, like, Twitter or something, that's what I would tweet about is the games I'm playing. Which, actually, if you go on my Twitter, the only thing I tweet about is if I'm losing in PUBG, I complain about it. This is really all I do on Twitter. Which means that I only play PUBG, basically. I actually am basically exclusively on PUBG at this point. Um, actually, you guys might see some Battlefront 2 videos. Because uh, Ragnar, a game shared with me, and he bought Battlefront 2 for 25 bucks, And he's like, hey, let's play it together. So 
we'll see. But I make the casual games because there was a hole in YouTube content for casual games. I saw a lot of, this is what you gotta do in this game. This is what... And I'm like, I like mine. It's like, it's Clash Royale on the phone. Is it casual? Right? It's easy to learn, guys. Clash Royale is easy to learn. It's easy to figure out what to do, but it's deep enough to where, you know, it's kind of a challenge. And, you know, I don't say, you must play Clash Royale for 20 hours a day to be good at it. Or PUBG, I don't say that either. So, that's really why I make the casual gaming videos. I want to know what you guys um, think in the comments below. Actually, if you have a YouTube channel, I want you to tell me, okay, in depth, why you make your specific videos. Try to get as specific as possible, okay? Because that, that way we can start discussions about our channels in the comments below. And get that good old-fashioned self-advertising comment done and dealt with. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam post of whatever I decide to make.